Hi, my name's John. <coughs> this is garbage. Got my garbage pile over there. All right, tools I'm going to have today: tape measure, because we always want to know how long leads are, how wide the, the diameter of a light or something. So, I hope you'll be able to answer all those questions right here. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm not uh, getting right in here on the camera. All right, here we go. Okay, this is the uh, mounting hardware for the uh, light. And then we have this here. Have the light itself. Oh, very nice. Bubble wrapped. I like seeing that. That's very good. All right, done with the box. Okay, here we go. Well, it's quite nice. It's packaged nice where they wrap the wire around and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine LEDs. And it would appear these are the uh, generation three LEDs, but with these little glass bubbles on the over the LEDs, it'd be kind of hard to tell, but you can take a look for yourself there. All right, so, <sighs> Each LED is supposed to be 3 watts each, combined, hence your 27 watts. Diameter is a little over 4.5 inches, and the lead from the back is, I'm going to give an approximate. But you're looking at it from the back of the light to the end of the lead, about 15 inches. So that's adequate. You know you're going to have to get wire for this anyways. Um, good solid front. It's plastic, of course, but it seems and feels good and solid. Um, good aluminum uh, heat sink. Although I never thought that LEDs would need heat sinks, but I guess maybe it gets warm. I don't know. You'll notice that there's uh, two holes here. One here, one here. Some lights come with a different type of uh, mounting bracket. Um, so I find them completely useless. I bought a pair of LED lights similar to this, but only with six LEDs from uh, Canadian Tire. And they did come with the side mounting brackets. And all it is is like a, an angle bracket with a bolt hole here. So you really don't get the, uh, the, the four-way movement that you get from a bracket like this. Now I did buy one of these, and funny enough, <laughs> the bolt, or I should say, sorry, the nut, actually uh, never got processed properly, and it didn't have the threads inside. <laughs> you know, silly thing. Well, anyways, a quick run to the shed, fix that problem. All right, so we have our uh, our bracket here. Of course, you know, you put your bolt in there, and uh, of course, there's no washer, but there's a lock washer, which is excellent. Now, let's see if we can get this on there. Just tighten it up so it's not too loose. There we go. I think there might be issues with the uh, with the little stops in there to hold that bolt in place when you tighten it up, but I don't imagine it'll be too much of a problem. All right. Uh, put this through here, into there. Lock washer. Now I'm just assembling this to make sure that all the parts are together and, uh, when I put it aside for installation later. I'm not going to lose any of the uh, nuts and bolts because let's face it, it's a real pain when you don't have all the parts you need. Alright, so like I was saying, the articulation of the uh, the light, you definitely you have, you know, you mount it here, you can turn it this way and uh, you can turn it this way. So this is the mount to go with. Uh, apart from that, uh, they're, they're uh, very well constructed. They look to be uh, good and weather resistant. Also on the back here, if you look closely, I don't know if the light will light it up black on black, but there's a, a rubber grommet, or grommet, however you want to put it, uh, that is uh, seems to be well connected and fits well to this wire, and then is fitted to, actually it feels like it might be glued, but which would even be better, uh, to the uh, casing itself, which makes this... Uh, Excellent for, for outdoor use, hence what it was intended for. Okay, well, the only thing to do now is to install this baby, and of course the three others, 
<laughs> we're going to have fun with that. Um, I'm probably just going to put them on a regular standard switch with a relay. You know, I just like to put a relay to be to be uh, safe, and uh, if something happens, they don't end up starting a fire. Definitely have to fuse anything electrical in your car, hence to avoid a fire. Uh, I figure probably for two lights, probably get away with just a you know a 10 amp fuse would be uh, absolutely more than than uh, necessary to handle that. All right, let's go put them on.